All right, Christian, we're going to watch your freestyle here. Um, one of the things we're doing while we're watching our freestyle, also make sure you take some time, check out the notes and the um, emails of different things that we see that you're doing really well on, things we see that you can continue to improve upon. Um, it's always a good opportunity to kind of refresh different things. If you don't have time to watch all the videos, just little quick notes and tidbits. Um, a couple things really, really good out there. And I want to kind of start over and break it all down for us. All right, as we start our freestyle pulls, you can see real quick, there's really no bend in that elbow. All right, ideally, what you want to be doing is as your hands are entering the water, so as your hand enters right here, from your elbow down to your fingertips is really where you want to get, begin that catch. Okay, so what we want to see you do is keep your elbow nice and high, turn that hand down, and then you're going to pull that arm all the way back. So really, you're catching good water early, and then you're pulling back. What you're doing here by keeping your hand, two things. Number one, you're keeping your hand out to the side a little bit and straight arm. You're really not generating any strength on that pull at all. You can see right here when you're halfway, that's when you finally get a little bit of bend in your elbow, and you're pushing it in the right direction. But that elbow needs to be a little bit higher. On the right side... Hand entries, fingertips down, that looks good. But again, you can see really you finally start to get that arm bending a little bit at about two, about a third of the way through that stroke, maybe halfway through that stroke. Work on getting that elbow bending a little bit earlier. As we take that breath, it looks like you've got a good breath as far as that goggle goes. It looks like one goggle's in, one goggle's out. You can lay your head down a little bit more. That would be nice, but your breathing really looks pretty good from that standpoint. Again, you can see how big that elbow is or how big that arm is. Just keep those arms a little bit closer to your body. Nice job of getting your head down before your hand enters. That looks great. This is a good fingertip entry as well. You can kind of see that your hands are open a little bit. Excellent. Head position is kind of looking a little bit on an angle um, forward. What we really like to do is see your hands looking straight down. So eyes down a little bit better, and that'll help keep your hips up a little bit more. Uh, but you're looking forward a little bit, and that starts to lower your hips after a while. The other thing we really need to think about, Christian, is getting a little bit more steady of a kick. Uh, I'm going to rewind this just a little bit, and what I want you to do is just look at your kick um, as you're going forward. And it's really maybe two kicks per stroke one or two, sometimes even one, we want to get your legs moving a little bit more steady. One, two, really? So we got to work on th those kicks getting a lot better. we got to make sure we're really kicking those legs. You really should be doing anywhere between four to six flutter kicks, literally per each pull, okay? When I say each pull, I mean one arm at a time. You should get four or six dolphin kicks per each arm pull. Now, as you go into your turn here, the one thing I saw real quick is I love the fact that you're turning your palms down. You're actually getting ready to throw water toward your face. Absolutely love that. That is exactly what we want to see every single time. So that's one of the best things I've seen for people to do. And I don't see a lot of them do it, Christian. So well done with that. Great streamline here. Your head is nice and straight, or your head is in that streamline nice and tight. That looks excellent. As you come off that wall, one, two. Two, two dolphin kicks, which is good. And then what we'd like to see is still be streamlined, still have your head down, and be doing about six flutter kicks. You can see that you're looking forward right here. So what you've taken is a great streamline, and then you slowed it down by lifting your head up. And by lifting your head up, you kind of slow the rest of it down. So really work on keeping your head down, six flutter kicks, and then a good breakout. As we start to do the breakout here, you see that we take that first breath, and really you start to breathe before you're even above the water. Get two or three strokes without a breath once you come off that once you come off that wall. All right, we talk a lot about trying to get uh, two strokes in, or at least flags in and out of the wall without a breath, but at least two strokes in and two strokes out. So work on that a little bit for us. Great job, Christian.